Cameron Miller. He is the father of Sean Wilson Miller, who I have just explained has this YouTube video um, that has gone absolutely viral. I think there's about 1.8 million viewers and a, a, an amazing response. So uh, uh, good evening to you, Cameron. Good evening. Are you serious? Is it 1.8 million already? I think it is, yes. That's absolutely extraordinary. Yeah, what an extraordinary son you have. He's always been like that, mate. He's, um, he's he, yeah, he, look, he's always been so positive and, um, you know, and every, like, for what he's gone through, you know, he, he's just so positive and that's the way he is. Like, right now, the reason why we haven't been able to do any media or anything like that, he stopped it. Mm-hmm. He's got a lung infection and he's fighting that at the moment. He's fighting back that because he's got a party in Melbourne, which people, which if, you, if you'd like to come, you're invited to. Um, you know, he's fighting back from that, so he just turned around to the 7 p.m. project today and said, no more. Mm-hmm, okay. Oh. So he's a, he's a wise, he, as much as he's positive, and um, he's very, very wise for his age. Yes. Very, very wise. Yeah. Look, he, you know, I mean, what a beautiful message. You live life to the fullest yeah, because is. you never know what's going to happen. And I, we, we, we really do need to stop and listen to that a bit more from, from the age of a 17-year-old, you know. That's right. That's yeah. right. And not, not only that, it's, you know, you know, like what he, talk, what, he, what he likes to talk about is organ donation. And as he said to Neil Mitchell on the 3RW show, you know, I wouldn't have had 10 years if it hadn't have been for organ donation. Mm. And, you know, not only that, you know, they're talking about, I've had calls from America, all over America, about about Sean and about his message. Yes. It's touched so many people. Like, it's this guy from Brazil has written a song, guy from Melbourne has done a rap song, which you can check out, called Gotta Stay Strong. Um, it's got all our family photos in there. Okay, Gotta Stay Strong. Uh, it's an amazing YouTube video. It's called Gotta Stay Strong, Sean Miller, and it's amazing. Right. Well, we, we check can check that, that out. That is, that is tu- that's touching in itself. Sean, Sean's been playing it over and over. He absolutely loves that song. Right. Okay. And he's well. got all the photos of Sean's operations. He went through my Facebook and got all got all photos down from my Facebook. Okay. Anyway. Uh, what a what what age did uh, Sean start having you know illness? I suppose severe illnesses. Sean was born. Sean was born um, when he was a baby. He was he had heart problems. Yes. Um, and he had a lot a lot of complications. Right up until you know he was eight, and then he had his first transplant at eight, mm-hmm. um, and even just like I, I never forget it. I, you know, we got the call, you know, that he had to have a transplant, and he turned around on the family, goes, "Oh, I'll see you soon." Like it was nothing, you know what yeah. I mean? And, yeah. and it was a fifteen-hour operation, and I'm and I'm absolutely petrified, freaking out, what's going to happen? Yes. But he just deals. He, he deals with pain. Like it, we've only just got out of the hospital. He had to go into this lung infection. Um, and he had to we had, he had to hold his arm because they had to thread a wire through the muscle up up into the shoulder blade out in close to the heart where they could pull a pick line in. And he stayed still for two hours. Yeah, yeah. Um, he's so brave. He, look, he's brave. He's positive. Um, you know, I, I can't sing his praises enough. No, that, really and can't. I think that, that that's clearly what comes across on on his message, his, his farewell message that he yeah. thought he was doing on Facebook, but actually has gone. Uh, up, up to YouTube and, and global, uh, and and the other thing that's very touching there too is he's asking <clears throat> friends and things to look after his dad, make sure that you're oh, okay. Hey? Yeah, look, as, look. As, I don't know if you saw any of the media stuff. You know, like even though we're father and son, we're like good mates. Yep. Um, and we and we look after each other. He looks after me, and you know, and that's yeah. When I saw, I didn't. I I knew he was going to put a video to Facebook, and I pleaded with him not to. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, went to sleep and he did it. You know, ended up putting it to YouTube and told the whole world. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um. So I only watched that video five days ago because in, in the entirety, I just, I just couldn't watch it properly. It's, yeah. Because when it's your own, when it's your own son, it's it's hard. You know. Of course. Um. Yeah. But he's, you know, as much as he's been given this news, he's going to keep fighting, and he just said, "Look, I'm just going to keep fighting." Like. He's got a lung infection at the moment, which he's fighting back from, and he's still fighting. And yeah. he was doing some boxing training in my in my lounge room yesterday, and he, you know, I can hear him coughing at the moment. He's just he's just a fighter, and he always will be. And um, you know, and he and I, we've had I've had teenagers when I've gone when I've just gone up the shops to get milk who come up and tap me on the shoulder and started crying, and 
Mm. Sean's just changed people's attitude, and I think it's fantastic because, you know, as much as it is a sad message, it's very positive at the same time. Absolutely. Absolutely, and I think that's what. I mean, and the other thing too is, as his dad, how do you, how do you feel about now, uh, all this extra attention that's actually come about? Well, it's a bit. Hard. It's, oh, oh, look, to be honest, I shouldn't it at all, and and then, and it's a bit. Oh, it's been, it's got to be crazy. Like we've been getting up at the, you know, getting up to open the door, and media's been at our front door and stuff. Mm. Um, you know, I've got people in America want to come down and do programs on him, and. Um, it's it's still, look it's unheard of it's unheard of and um, you know and Sean Sean just said look you know I don't want to do any more media until I get well which is which is fair enough that's that's why he said the, yes to the radio because it's easy to talk on the radio you don't have to worry about it mm-hmm. Good. Um, what you look like on TV you know what I mean but yep. but the extra attention well, I'm not going to be I'm not going to lie to you, it's been full on I've had nearly five hundred calls each day on my phone yeah and I've been just trying to keep up with it you know what I mean and. You know, at, when Sean did the YouTube video, he was trying to answer every one of those messages. You yes. know, the, the positive ones, of course. Yes. So there was some really horrible people. And, you know, you only have to um, Google either Sean Miller or Sean, Sean was the Miller and see articles all over the internet. But he is, he has had two heart transplants and he has gone through what he's gone through when people would call him fake and, and all this sort of guy. Oh, don't worry about yeah. you don't You don't, worry, you don't worry about them. Well, that hurt me. That hurt me personally because when you spend as much as time, you know, as Sean has in hospital and, you know, we're in and out all the time, it does it, do, it does cut at your core. But Sean's like, don't worry about it, Dad. Let's just let it go. I'm not going to read any more YouTube videos, messages. Yeah, you think of the other millions that are right yeah, behind yeah. them. Uh, yeah. and, and that's the real people. It is, exactly. Um, but, you know, the beautiful thing out of it, it has touched a lot of people. I'm hoping... Seeing Sean's story, that a lot of people do sign up to be organ donors. Um, yes. You know, it's, it's, I know it's a bit of a taboo subject for some people, but organ, organ donation does save lives. Yes. And, you, and you know what? When you go to heaven, you can't take your organs with you. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. No, so, no, you know, you're I mean? quite right, and and uh, I mean I do believe in organ ownership myself, but I mean that's just a personal thing. But uh, mm. no, that I, I guess there's. Uh, it's a really hard question. I, I feel pretty bad asking. What sort of time do you expect that you will have with Sean? How long? How long? Oh, it's hard because think? people have been asking this in the media a lot, and it's and that's what I said. You know, I, I, we don't know whether it's six months or twelve months because what ends up happening um, with with uh, coronary artery disease is you've got the arteries in your heart, and what ends up happening, they end up slowly closing, and then all of a sudden they really fasten and close, and the reason. Why I know this. This happened to him when he was thirteen. Mm-hmm. This is why he needed the second transplant. Yep. And but they did an Alfred. They did a stent at the Alfred Hospital, and they could open up the stent. Yep. This time they can't open up any of the arteries because they're 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 blocked. Yes. Um. So it's it's one of those situations that as, as a father, you know, like I've got to deal with this. When I go to bed every night, I've got to deal with um him going to sleep and not waking up again. Right. Yes. Um, yeah. You know, that's just the fact. Oh, it's it's the fact, and that's why, you know, he's left school. We're just, he's, you know, once he gets rid of this lung infection, we're just going to live life and have fun. It's, that's, mm-hmm. that's what it's all about, yeah. um, you know, and and that's why he did that message. He did, did the message just for his Facebook friends. Uh, but, you know, he said, I'm not, you know, I, 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 you know, it's good that it's gone out to, to a worldwide basis because a lot more people has to be positive in life and as he says to me that um you know once you've got a negative thought you're gone yeah. always keep positive in life and if you want to do something like don't just stand don't just wait just go and do it yeah no it doesn't matter what it is it doesn't yeah. matter what it is in life just go and do it yeah it's a great that's a great message and and hey it's a lot of precious moments for you too now the other thing i wanted to ask you is uh, I, I believe he's been inundated with all sorts of different offers. Is, is there anything oh. that's come through that he's particularly wants to do that he hadn't, you know, wasn't able to do or thought of before? Um, I'm not sure, but he, he just actually just said he'd like to actually talk now. Okay, so he's popped so, up. Yeah, he's popped up. He's popped up and he said, I'm going to talk. So he's the boss. I'm going to put the boss on right now. Hey, thank you very much, Cameron. No worries, mate. There you go. Appreciate your time. How are you going? I'm going very well. How are you at the moment? Oh, uh, I'm doing okay. I'm just keeping on. I've just got a lung infection at the moment that I'm fighting and uh, coughing up every single flemage. But anyway, 
I'm keeping on. I'm good. good. Yeah, good on you. Hey, good on you. Thanks. You, you have inspired so many people. Yeah, people tell me that. I just, I didn't really uh, want to inspire people. I just wanted to say to my friends, what's up and this is the news. But I'm so grateful that I've done the video and I'm so grateful that I've inspired a lot of people. Yeah. That's a, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. I mean, it's very heartfelt, and uh, you have touched many people, and especially, too, with your thing about organ donation, about the, how much that does assist and help people. So that'll, that'll get some people thinking. Yeah, it really does help uh, a lot of people in organ donation because, like, if you take blood and then you pass on, you can save another life. It's that easy. It's not, mm. it's not you have to have an operation to be an organ donate, organ donor. You just have to have a blood a blood test here and there, and yeah. and you could save lives like that. Yeah. Hey, look, there's, 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 you've had a lot of offers. You've been on the footy show, and there's all sorts of things you've had. You've, got, you've had some offers. Is there anything that's come through that you thought, yeah, I really want to go and do that? Um. Well, three AW, uh, um, the girl called Jenny, she rang in and uh, gave uh, gonna, is going to pay for my trip to Disneyland, so... Yep. Uh, and uh, Queensland and Brisbane Radio gave that to me, uh, Queensland, for five days, I think. So I'm motivated to get this lung infection off me so I can do those things and have fun. Yeah, great, great. Uh, as you say, every, everything's precious. Is, is there anything else that you, you, you've you got planned to be doing with your dad, maybe? Uh well, I'm having this massive party yep. on June 15th, and that's going to go off, so... <laughs> it's going to uh, go off. You're welcome to come if you want. Uh, oh, thank you. And I don't know what me and Dad are going to do. We're just going to wing it. See, see, see what happens. Sounds like the idea. Sounds like the idea. Yeah. Hey, look, we, we uh, spoke to Rachel Learcar from the, from the Voice. Oh, uh, yeah? And she's got a little message for you. Just especially, oh, wow. especially for you. So you have a listen to this. Hi, Sean. This is a message to you from Rachel Lear Carr from The Voice Australia. Um, I just wanted to say hi, and I think you're a really amazing person. And um, I heard about your video and some of your appearances, and I really hope that you're staying positive and always remember that miracles can happen. Here we go, Sean. That's especially for you from, from Rachel. Thank you, and uh, yeah, and good luck on the voice. That's a show you're oh. following too, I hope. Yeah, yeah, I'm watching it. Good, good thing. Hey, I, 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 don't, I won't keep you any longer. Good luck with that lung infection. You knock it over, eh? I will, thank you. No, thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it. My pleasure. Hey, Cameron. How are you going? Good, good. Hey, uh, great lad, eh? What a great yeah, lad. You must, you must be so incredibly proud. Oh, look, I am. I am. Um, one exciting thing, I think he forgot the towel. We're in the process of writing his book. Okay. Um, and we're doing it, we've, we've been doing it uh, for the last week, the writers from Sydney. Yep. Um, so we, he'll be, it'll be a worldwide book that'll, that'll hit the sh- stores probably June next year. Okay. Well, and Sean's having a big say in it and all the people that he's inspired in his life. And have you got a name for this book that's coming out yet? Well, there's, a, there's a couple of names. He wants to call it Be Positive. Yes, yes, good um, on it. That's one name. Yep. So, but yeah, and that's that's him. He's, that's what his main thing is, that's uh, do this book and, um, you know, and leave a lasting legacy with everyone who reads it. Excellent. Look, I want to thank well, you very much for your time and, and, and also I want to acknowledge your courage as well. Um, because thank you. This, this is an extremely... And uh, as a parent, we can only imagine what what you would be going through with all of this. And uh, you've you've uh, he, maybe he's got the positive disease from you. Yeah, thank you. Look, I've got I've got such a great family, and I've got such a good group of friends. You know, like I've got some friends that put on this massive party at Luna Park, and you know they just started basically working in the last week, and people are just throwing everything at us. You know, yeah. and it's going to be like disco comedians and free rides at Luna Park and all this sort of stuff and it's just it's gonna be a really big night today. Tonight's coming looks like as well and 
um, you know, it's going to be a really, really, you know, really big, you know, yeah. celebration of Sean's life on the 15th of June. So, yeah. you know, well, if anyone does want to come down and meet Sean, there's, that's the place to do it. And that's your opportunity to, to, to do it because he's going to be on the stage and, and that rap song, Got to Stay Strong, you've got to go and watch that. It's also on my Facebook. All right. Um, it's got to, got to Stay Strong, Sean. Sorry, you've got to, Sean's just picked me up on it. You've got to stay strong, Sean yes. Miller. Yep. Um, and it's got all our family photos of me and Sean, and and there's, there's lots of photos of Sean when he's gone through with his operations and things like that. Hey. And not only that, not only that, with Sean's operation, also had his appendix out this year, <laughs> and it wasn't just normal appendix operation um, because they they couldn't see that it was an appendix because the 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 medicine masked it. So for three months he walked around with a perforated appendix as well this year. All oh, right. So he's a he's a strong willed boy. Yes. Um. So yeah, and look, I couldn't be prouder. And and I'm and it's amazing, you know, even from New Zealand that you know you guys are the, the you know that inspired by what he's done. Yeah, it's it just it's the human. So it, it knows no boundaries, really, does it? It doesn't. And you know what? It actually shows these good people out there too. Certainly is. That's what I've seen. That's what I've seen. I, I've, it's actually, it's actually, you know, the faith in, it's, you know, the faith in humanity and, um, and some of the, uh, some of the messages Sean's been having on his Facebook and, you know, from all that, he's been helping a woman since he's fourteen who lost her son at twenty three years old, mm-hmm. and he's been, and he's been helping, he's been helping her for since he's thirteen, thirteen years old. He's been helping this woman yeah. Yeah. deal with the loss of her son. Yeah. And before I go, Sean just wants to say a couple of words. If you want something in life, don't plan it. Just do it and be positive. Thank you, Sean.